Oh, hey, that's not the screen I wanted to go to. Hey, everybody! Hello, hello, hello! How's everybody doing here at Anime Next? Welcome to the Irregular Retro Gaming Gauntlet. This is the first time I'm doing this panel at a convention. Uh, so bear with me. This could be a colossal train wreck. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, should still be fun to watch, exactly. Uh, so, we are going to be, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Kyle McCarley, I'm a voice actor, I'm the voice of Mikazuki August in Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, Mob Psycho 100, Mob in Mob Psycho 100, uh, Ryo in Devil Man Crybaby, uh, Shinji Mato in Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, and Heaven's Feel, uh, 9S in Near Automata, all in Fire Emblem Echoes, and that's enough about me. Let's play some games. So I've got a bag full of raffle tickets. Everybody in here got a raffle ticket on their way in. And I'm going to draw out four lucky contestants to compete for the fabulous prize of autograph prints signed by me. So lucky you. Yeah. All right. Let's see who our first contestant is to take a seat on my right. Uh, number, let's do just the last four digits. Number 5812. 3975812. If that's you, come on down. Hey! Come on over here and have a seat. You're player one. What's your name? Allison. Nice to meet you, Allison. Um, what's your favorite retro video game? I don't know. You don't know? Nothing. You could you could just make some Mario something. Doctor Mario. Uh, Doctor Mario. Dr. Mario. All right. Cool. Well, we're not going to be playing that. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Competing in. Player number two's position, the seat that I was just in. Lucky number 3975757. Come on down to the front of the room. That's you. Come on around. How's it going? Oh, come sit right here. There you go. What's your name? Joe. Nice to meet you, Joe. What's your favorite retro video game? Tetris. Tetris. Good choice. Good choice. We're not going to be playing that. Yeah, All right. In player number three's position, the seat I was just sitting in, lucky number 3975791. Come on down to the front row. Hiya! What's your name? Uh, Joseph. Nice to meet you, Joseph. We got a Joseph and a Joe. How about that? You guys know each other? No. I've never seen him before in my life. Oh, well. What's your favorite retro video game? Uh, Super Mario World. Super Mario World. Good choice. We won't be playing that one either. All right. Last position. Player number four. This is it. This is what I passed out all of those raffle tickets for. It was for four people. Yay. Sorry, everybody else. All right. Lucky number 3975818. Come on down to the front row. Is he coming? He's coming. He's coming. He's got to keep his cosplay on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on down. <laughs> Hiya. Are, are you hiding your face for a reason? None in particular. OK, cool. What's your name? Uh, Sax. Nice to meet you, Sax. What's your favorite retro video game? There's a number of them, but if I had to pick some, I'd pick the Mother Trilogy. Earthbound and Mother One. Okay, okay. 
Good choice. We're not going to be playing those either. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I got to go back up top, so, because I got to set up what our first game is. But you guys all have controllers in front of you. Labeled one, well, not all, just the four people that got selected. Sorry. Not everybody. I know. I'm the worst. We're going to be playing a game I'm guessing uh, none of you have heard of. But that's OK, because it'll still be fun. This game is called Hungry, Hungry Dinosaurs. Have, have any of the four of you ever heard of this game? Good luck. Here it comes, with no sound. Awesome. Wait. I hear it, but it's very, very quiet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fix that. Why is that so quiet? I guess just because I have the microphone up so loud. It's OK. We'll, we'll play with that. You, you guys will be fine. All right, player one, go ahead and press start. I'm going to come sit next to you guys. And go down to f versus mode four players. And go. Good luck. I'll offer some advice. I think the B button eats the egg in front of you. Blue's taking the lead. No, now it's red. Red's in front. Red's surrounded by his own eggs. Blue down in the corner, taking out yellow on a vendetta. Green takes the lead by going around and taking all of Red's stuff. <laughs> and that's time. Oh! The lead switched back and forth right at the end between Blue and Green, but Green takes the first victory. Who's Green? Who's, player, who's Green? Yeah! That's one. Round two. Oh, we gotta watch. We gotta watch you get your little victory point there. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Here it goes. Okay, now th now the strategy comes in. Now everybody knows what's happening. <laughs> Red, out to get blue as green and yellow keep in their own quarters. Okay, now yellow and green have crossed into each other's territory. Green, no, red now takes the lead. Red left to his own devices over in the top right. Try to eat the caveman. <laughs> oh, oh, green, green takes the lead. This will be a short first round if Green pulls this off. Two, one, zero. And Green takes two in a row. And that is the end of our first round. Player one takes the first round. I got I to gotta push this button. Go back to the camera. There we go. Congratulations! You are one point away from advancing to the final round. And a chance to compete for the fabulous prize of all six of my autograph prints. <laughs> all right, here goes round number two. This is a game called Street.
Street Racer. Anybody heard of this one? No. Not really. Very similar to, to other racing games. Made by Ubisoft back when they didn't have an art department, apparently. <laughs> okay. Player one's on it. Go to four players and press start. Go to head to head. And then to race. Perfect. All right, pick your character and press start to select. And I have no idea how you get up those uh, those little like stat things, or if you can. Oh, you can press something to to re choose your character. All right, take your time picking a character. It's not like everybody's watching or anything. <laughs> All right, everybody's got their character pick. Player one, press start. And I think player one gets to pick the stage. I don't know that it really matters. <laughs> And you guys are going to get to see some really expert split screen strategy here. Player four, I'm sorry, you may be at a disadvantage. Good luck! Watch everybody jump around as they try and figure out what the go button is. Somebody's hopping. Player three's hopping. Player one can't figure out how to go forward. It is exact, yes, Mario Kart. It's, it's, it's basically Mario Kart, just not as good. Okay, everybody's moving. I have no idea who's in the lead. Player, player four? Player four's in the lead. I thought player four had a disadvantage. They're in opposite order from bottom to top. Oh, they're in opposite order from bottom to top, really? That's, that shouldn't have happened. Huh. Okay, great. Bottom one's player one? I don't, I don't know. Oh, no. In placing. Gotcha. Now I understand. So player four is in first. Player three is in second. Player two is in third. Oh, I see the position. Now player three took, took first place. Now I can actually call this. Okay, good. Oh, player four passes player three and takes the lead. And are we on the last lap? Oh boy, stakes are heating up. Player four crosses the finish line just in front of player three. So player four gets one point toward victory this round. Player one still going, still going strong. You can make it, you can do it, I believe in you. Yeah, all right. Good stuff, guys. All right. Uh, I think continue is the button you want to push. Hopefully. Change track. There we go. Are we having fun? Good. What do you guys think of these games? Aren't they excellent? They are games. They are games. That is, that is true. <laughs> Yeah, these are not the worst things you've played in the last two years. Oh, no, but that's the first time you've gaming for a couple of years. Okay, all right. Almost as good as near. Almost as good as near. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Here we go. And go! I love it. It looks like someone threw up on the screen. Yes, accurate, accurate description. Player four is in the lead again. 
player three is is following. Yeah, I believe the 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 R and L buttons are punch buttons to to reach out and smack your your opponents. And I think I think the X button does something with power ups. I don't know what the power ups are. There's a jump button. Yeah, I, you guys have figured all this out. <laughs> Player four is still in the lead. Player three hot on his tails. Player one is in third place, and player two in fourth. Oh, player three. Got, he's got him in his sights. Got it, got to turn her. Oh, last lap. Better catch him now. Better catch him now, or player four is taking the win. Here it comes, around the bend. I don't know where the end of this, this track is. There it is, oh, player four takes two in a row. And we are advancing on to a playoff between player one and player four. Joe, Joseph, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, you didn't pull it off. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I've got a couple autograph prints for you waiting. Uh, I don't have Sharpies on me at the moment, so I'll have to sign them for you in a second, but uh, catch me after the panel, okay? Thanks for coming, guys. Just set these down here. And watch your step, okay. All right. Moving on. I need to I need to exit out of this. Uh, Sax, you're gonna want to switch to player two's controller now. Yeah. Oh, you didn't have to move. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay. How many of you in this room are familiar with? Uh, Sanrio, the company, yeah. makers of Hello Kitty, oh and the new the new anime series on Netflix, Agretzko. Yes. We got some Agretzko fans. My it, this is totally a side tangent, but my wife Caitlin Galt is the voice of Fenico in Agretzko. Best character. Best character. Thank you. I love that show. So if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. This game has nothing to do with the Gretzko. Yay! But uh, this game is called Sanrio World Smash Ball. Yes! <laughs> yes! So there are some people who have heard of this one. That's good. All right. You would have an advantage if you were one of these last two contenders. Uh, uh, is this the button? Yeah, that's the button. There we go. All right. Sanrio World Smash Ball. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of copyrights on there. Uh, um, I think, player one, if you just press start. There we go. And go to versus mode. And now you get to pick your character. I don't think it matters. I think it's purely an aesthetic choice. Oh, they have different stats? But you don't get to see what they are. So that's good. Oh, the text the text does help. I'm Pokopon. I have the best defense. That's what he sounds like, I guess. Cheerful Karopi. I'm the most balanced character. OK, uh, let's do a three-set game. What time is it? Do we have time for a vlog? Match? Yeah, I think we do. Okay. And yeah, just pick a court. And go! Good luck! Okay, okay, we figured things out pretty quickly here. Someone saying you can charge your attacks, that is news to me. Oh, 
Oh, there, okay, so there's a, there's a meter up at the top, or, or the bottom, if you're player one, that's filling up. I don't know, what, I guess every time you hit it, it gets another charge, but I don't know what it means. Like how you, how it, you would use that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, player one's got a gap. Got a defensive gap. <laughs> Oh, and the first point goes to player two. Game number two. Smack it. There you go. Uh oh, uh oh. Give it another whack. There we go. Uh oh. This is getting this is getting real intense. And it's and it's lagging a little bit, which makes it even more difficult. <laughs> uh oh. Player one's got a couple chinks in the armor. I think we're just gonna do. I, f I forgot that the sets are like full three game sets, so we're just gonna do one set. So the first to three wins will advance to the final round of the gauntlet. There's power ups inside some of the blocks? Google says there's power-ups inside some of the block. I didn't see it. Then maybe that's in the single-player version. Player, player four. Oh, oh! All in one go opened up a block. That was the first hit of the game for player one. Press X to use your power shop when your meter's full. If you can get that far before before it goes in the goal, it's a, it's open in the middle. Oh, so close! Give it a whack. There we go. <laughs> player, player, player two. Oh, oh! The power shot takes out a block. Player four has been putting up a good defense, but player one's now got two openings to go for. Player one just plugging the gap. Oh! Oh no! Oh! What a game! Wow, that was intense, guys. Good game, good game. All right, here we go. Game number three. Two wins left to go for, for either contestant. First to three, first to three wins. Yeah, if you're, if you're noticing there are little dots on each of those blocks that indicate how many hits it has left before it breaks. You can't really see it that well on the projector, but. And player two gets a hit. Back and forth, oh, an opening. Player one, once again, gets the back and forth to open up that right side. Player one gets another hit. Player two closing in, getting aggressive. Back and forth. Who's gonna get there? Oh, play! Oh, you can't. Can you cross? You can cross the middle line if you go through those little gaps. The red X's you can't cross, but you can go through the gaps. Player two with another hit. Oh! Back and forth. Oh, it's back and behind. Oh, player one gets another hit and the power shot. And another opening. Player one's getting the hang of this game. 
Wreck him, Ralph. Oh! And player two gets the, the back and forth corner shot there. And another hit, and another one! Oh, but back in behind! And there it goes! And there it goes! What a game! Player one just needs one more to advance. This, this game seems to be a hit. I think Sanrio should think about updating this and, and putting it out as like a mobile game or, some, or something. I don't know. A Switch game, maybe. Oh, player two getting real aggressive. Coming in across into enemy territory. Uh oh it, get, it it waits to get intense until the end. Uh oh another corner shot opens up the left side for player one to shoot at. Oh, so close. Oh, and the right side's open. Oh, that was on track to get player one the win! What a match! What a game! Wow. Okay. Sax, thank you so much, man. You played hard, you played well. It was a good battle. Thanks for coming up. Meet me after, I'll get you an autograph print. Allison, you're moving on to the final round. How does it feel? I don't think I'm real. You don't think you're real? Oh, of course you're real. <laughs> okay, in this round, you're playing by yourself, and you won't be needing this anymore. Instead, you'll be using this controller. Have you ever seen something like this before? I've seen it, but... You've seen it? Wow. Have, have you ever used one of these controllers before? No. Okay. The game that we're going to be playing is infamous. Unlike the rest of the games that we've played tonight, a lot of people here have probably heard of this one. It's credited as being the game that was responsible for the 1980s video game crash. Because it was so... Bad. If you can manage to win this game, I'll send you home with six autograph prints and probably uh, some sort of gift certificate for my for my uh, Hacker Clan merch for my Twitch channel or something. Otherwise, you'll get two autograph prints. So the the stakes are high. <laughs> this game. A lot of people have picked up on what it is. We're going to go ahead and launch it without, without any further introduction. Oh, except I got I to gotta do, I got to tweak my settings really quick. Hold on. Bear with me for just a second here. <laughs> Allison, can you do me a favor and press that button? Thank you. Here we go. E.T., the extraterrestrial. I'm going to try and help you as best I can because it's, there's absolutely no explanation for what you're supposed to do in the game itself. You have to read the instruction manual to know how to play the game. So this is, 
This is quality game design. Go ahead and press that button. You're gonna move around with your joystick. You are playing as E.T. You're gonna move around with your joystick. If you press, if you hold that button, you'll move faster. If you press the button, you'll do something based on the, the icon that's at the top of the screen. Now, you just fell into a hole. So if you press and hold the button, and then press up on your joystick, you'll fly out of the hole. Because this is a power that E.T. had in the movie. Oh, but you have to be really careful when you come out of the hole to move before you stop flying or you'll fall back in. So go ahead and press the button and, and press up, fly out, and then quickly move to your left. When you get out, oh, it's so close. Once again, keep going, keep going. You want to try and fly out of the hole. Ah, oh, this is so good. This is such a great game. Every t in all of, oh, just, just keep going for it. Just keep going for it. Just try and move to the left really fast when you get out. Oh, you almost had it. You almost had it. You'll come out in the same spot. So just a little bit for, there you go. And pick up the little candy. There you go. And if you, if you, okay. So the, the scientist guy, oh boy. So the, the little scientist dude in the lab coat is trying to take you to the lab. It does absolutely nothing except take you to the lab. There's, there's really no stakes other than that. It just moves you to a different part of the map. If the little, if the, the ranger dude, I think he works for the FBI, I don't know why he looks like uh, the, the guy from Curious George, but <laughs> if he catches you, he'll take away one of your cell phone pieces. You're trying to get three pieces of an intergalactic cell phone, which you find in these holes that you're falling into, um, to try and phone home and, and try and get, get back off the planet. Uh, if he catches you, he'll take away any of the pieces that you've found, which is really frustrating. So, go ahead and go ahead and fly out. <laughs> oh, almost. You got this. You got this. You got this. That's right. The the uh, the score that is ticking down on the bottom of the screen is like used up every time you move or use your power. Um, when you run out, you'll die, but Elliot will come and rescue you a couple times before you actually get game over. There you go. There you go. The, the little pieces of candy that you pick up. Um, oh, look! You, you stumbled upon one of the cell phone pieces. Great. That's one out of three. I may just give you credit for victory if you can collect all three of them without... There you got two! Way to go! That's two! Oh, somebody just said you've already gotten further than I ever did. <laughs> I have not managed to beat this game before. I have collected... Oh! Uh-oh! He's right outside! Don't panic! <laughs> I don't think moving around while you're in the hole helps. He moved a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this such a great game, guys? <laughs> it's, the best, it's the best game she's ever played, she says. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would play again. You know, as, as terrible as this game is, every time I started to do like just a test run to make sure that I had everything ready for this panel, I got distracted when I got to this part and just played until I lost. And it's so frustrating. Go for it. You can do this. Allison. 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 Oh. Did you break it? Are you stuck? No, you're good. You're good. Okay. <laughs> oh. Just keep holding the button. Like, let go of the up as soon as you get out and keep holding the button. And then you can go to the left. There you go, there you go, you're out. That, stop, oh, oh. If you press the button now, you'll eat, oh, tell, did he take one, he took one. If you press the button, when, when the little icon in the middle looks like that, uh, that Pokeball thing, uh, it's, it's a piece of candy. And if you eat the candy, oh, you don't have any candy now. Did he take, did he steal the candy too? I didn't know he did that. That's mean. The candy restores some of your health, yeah. 
back in the hole. He just steals candy from an alien. It's okay. Elliot will come and rescue you and give you like 1,500 more points to work with, which is totally enough. Uh oh. And, and ET is dead. That's dead ET right there. Everybody remembers the part of the ET movie where he stretches his neck out and flies, right? That happened. <laughs> That'll send, yeah, that'll, if you press the button now, it sends him back home. And he goes away for a little bit. Find a question mark, that one will tell you where the cell phone pieces are. Yes. I, thank you. Thank you for shouting that out. If you find the question mark and press the button, it'll give you a little hint if there's, if there's a cell phone piece inside one of the holes on the screen. You're being taken to the, just let him take you. Just let him take you. It's okay. It's fine. I think that calls Elliot for help, but I don't know what Elliot does. Run away! Run away! He'll take it! He'll take the cell phone piece! Elliot takes your Reese's pieces away and gives you bonus Oh, well, don't do that. Ever. Oh, no! <laughs> Just hover away. Oh, no! That's, that's two. That's two deaths. <laughs> She just dropped into that hole. No, the, one right the one on top. <laughs> this hole right here? The arrow on top uh, will teleport you. If, you. if you press the button while the arrow's there, it'll teleport you to wherever that arrow is pointing, which often drops you into a hole because that's what this game's all about is E.T. spelunking. <laughs> oh, no. Is that it? Or do you get one more? You get one more go with 1,500 points. There's a piece of candy over there on the left. Oh, but the, there's, there's a piece of candy right there. Press the button. Press the button. Just press it. Just press it once. Oh, oh no. <laughs> if you could fly out and find a place to eat the candy, You'll have a little bit more. Oh. Uh, no oh boy, it's getting down to the wire. Oh. Scientist is taking you back home. You still have the candy. If you press the button, you'll teleport. There you go. Now look over on the left side. You'll eat candy somewhere. Nope. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no, that might be it. That's, oh, you're not gonna make it, baby, you can make it. Oh. Just fell back into the hole. And that's the game. Oh. Well done, Allison. You gave it your best shot. But the horrible game design of the 1980s was too much. Let's go ahead and close that. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me. Allison, thank you so much for coming and playing today. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Are you ever gonna play E.T. again? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so it didn't, didn't totally turn you off to, to video games forever like it did everybody in the 1980s? No, I'm more determined than ever. All right. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple of autograph prints when we're done here. Um, I am going to send everybody home a few minutes early or off to their next engagement for the afternoon. Thank you all so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the Irregular Retro Gaming Gauntlet. You can catch it, a rebroadcast on Twitch tomorrow afternoon at 2 o'clock if you're not doing other stuff at the con, which I imagine you will be because you've already seen this. But thanks for coming! <laughs> <laughs>